doing i hope you're doing well you're doing fine we are going straight into your extended so let's see what's going on if you haven't watched the actual um main reading i suggest you do that way you know where we're up to um so things currently are going a little bit sour from your person's end or this could have been your energy i feel like this is really your person's end okay so things are going a little bit sour especially something happened here which is not really coming up to surface okay so let's see if we can find out what's going on okay so the five of spears came running out i'm going to take that only because the five of spears was the overall energy so let's see what's going on so now somebody's trying to avoid the conflict okay your person's trying to avoid conflict okay so the conflict could be around children okay let's see what's going on so that king of pentacles wanting to come out earlier so you have the knight of cups which we had that already as well ace of cups so there's a lot of love here somebody wants a reunion but there's a lack of trust here okay that's what's going on so somebody here now wants to avoid this fight this kickoff okay that's going on somebody doesn't want it anymore but then there's also this sense of loss okay now somebody's worked so hard but in the end it was kind of like where did this lead to okay i tried working hard manifesting this connection at the end it led to um loss okay but um i do feel that not everything is lost because you know you are in a stable position okay you are in a very stable position right now you have your shit together gemini's okay you're very much grounded right now now this could be the cross watcher as well but this cross watcher here is watching you okay this cross watcher is watching you they know you're sad, you're upset with this loss, okay? They are trying to find some control, some discipline in structure. And I think that that's where this is coming from, okay? You may have turned your back on this person or this person may have turned their back onto you. Don't forget to flip or twist this energy, okay? To how it resonates. But I feel like the emperor here, okay, whoever this is, um, which is your person or someone you're dealing with, definitely doesn't want this conflict anymore, okay? They don't want this conflict anymore. They're like, you know what? You want to win, you win. That's it. I turn my back on the situation. I'm not bothered anymore. Okay? With the Ace of Pentacles being here, though, I feel like there's a big opportunity coming in. You see how that King of Pentacles is holding that opportunity? Well, they're ready to give it to you. And this is like something for the long term, something that is stable and something that is reliable. Because the King of Pentacles is someone who is reliable. You may be dealing with two people here, or this could just be your energy. Please take it how it resonates. Yeah, because you see, all along this line, we have good things happening for you, okay? We've got the, the sun, we've got the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So this is good energy here, okay? And once you've reached to, once you've grounded yourself and become more stable with whatever this is that's coming in, you're gonna be holding on to that and regrounding yourself okay yeah you're trying to get some balance or your person's trying to get some balance in the situation so let's go ahead and clarify this angel guides please clarify this reading for gemini seven guys and venus why is the five of spears here in reverse please angel guides Okay, so somebody here is calling it truce is what I got coming through just now. So somebody here is calling it truce. Like, okay, you know what? Here's the deal. This is what we'll do and we'll just call it because I can't be bothered to fight anymore. Or I don't want to have this argument anymore, okay? It's giving me mental stress. So somebody here may have just come to an agreement in the situation. But that inevitably made somebody feel like, well, well, it's not what I wanted, but okay, I'll have it. Let's see what's going on. Temperance, yeah, came to some sort of agreement, but then this kind of, um, yeah, this person was kind of like, oh, I'm mentally stressed, okay? We need to meet halfway with this. And then with the Page of Swords, somebody here was not really understanding the situation very clearly. Um, because of the situation the way it was, they became mentally restless, okay? And they tried to understand the situation, okay? They were watching it quite carefully. So, yeah, let's see why this uh, Five of Cups is here. 
Why is the Five of Cups here, please, Angel Guides? Okay, so yeah, see, somebody here feels like there's a loss in this connection here with the Two of Cups. And then there's that Two of Cups there. This is my Twin Flame card, so it is a Twin Flame for me. Um, seven of Cups, somebody's looking at different options or choices in regards to their Twin Flame. Yeah, somebody feels like this has ended. Somebody feels like they've just been backstabbed. Somebody feels like things aren't working out. Um, I, I feel like somebody here is really heartbroken from the situation. There is a separation going on here. Let's see what's going on. So, yeah, Gemini, I think it's really more about how, you know, you're not looking at a situation for what it is, especially with the, the Page of Swords, okay? You're not looking at a situation for the way it is. Um, and I did see that here with the Eight of Swords as well, that Eight of Swords energy. You've kind of self-inflicted this on yourself, okay? Um, the situation may not even be like this, but you've kind of manifested that thought into your mind. Let's clarify the sun. I might say this is for all Geminis, but I am saying that this is for the collective amount of Geminis. And Geminis can be quite stubborn as well when it comes to actually believing something they feel like is right. Um, until even after they get proven sometimes it's like no um, I'm, I'm gonna stick to that what I believe in okay six of wands so moving forward things are looking good eight of cups somebody's walking away from this connection yeah and turning back so there's that turning back energy things were working and now they're kind of like all right I'm done I'm going for myself I've had enough with this okay uh, nine of wands yeah, taking a steady step towards moving out of these obstacles, conflicted energy and moving in towards something better, okay? Yeah, so there's that option to kind of like stay or walk away. And I think that you, Gemini, or your person decided to walk away. Let's clarify the Ace of Coins because there is this uh, truce going on here. Eight of Swords. Wow, okay, so yeah, you see, it, what this person may have offered a truce and then you were like kind of stuck in your head and thinking, well, is this person like cheating? Is this person like backstabbing me? Could have been the case, okay, because this person could have had a lot of options here, okay? Um, but I'm not really seeing that. Um, what I'm seeing here is the Eight of Swords. So you kind of isolate yourself from the situation. All right, you were thinking about it, but you couldn't get a clear vision on this. So you're trying to control your emotions about how you feel in regards to the situation, which pretty much does not look good to me, okay? Or well, this could be the person that you made the offer to. Let's see, King of Pentacles, let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's money, I probably would have taken it, right? Especially for the kids. So... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, Six of Pentacles. Um, okay, so somebody did offer you something. Well, you offered this person something. Eight of Wands, you had communication. Four of Cups. Then you were contemplating on the situation and somebody here was not happy about taking the offer again. Okay, let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. So who's holding on to this Four of Pentacles? Let's see what's going on. Is it your person? Because I think it's your person that's holding on to this this uh, Four of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Got a lot of steady, stable energy. Four of Pentacles, clarify the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, okay. Um, so, so yeah, somebody's really holding back, holding on. Um, to this offer that was made but I feel like it's also about restricting themselves in regards to how they're feeling the Empress oh somebody's pregnant somebody is pregnant maybe somebody doesn't want the child just saying the world completion all right so somebody could be pregnant here especially with the four of Pentacles holding back a pregnancy or holding on to a pregnancy yeah, so somebody's pregnant, now they're trapped, they don't know what to do. Could be for a, a collective amount, okay, because there's like two stories that are rolling out in this, okay, Geminis. Um, what I'm seeing, there is children involved, or you may already have children with this person. And then there's pregnancy coming up as well, and you're like, no, we don't want any more. Um, Six of Pentacles, so somebody kind of offered something here. And it was communicated and you're like eh 
Four of Pentacles. The magician. Wow, okay, the moon. Hmm. Fear and illusions. Eight of Pentacles. Busy. Ace of Pentacles with a new arrival or a new offer. How to make a decision. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out or isolating yourself. Okay, so something happened here, okay? Now, either somebody here is pregnant, okay, and they're really conflicted about whether they want to keep this baby or whether they don't, okay? Um, so, an offer was made. I don't know exactly what that offer was because you know your situation better, but I think that Gemini, you yourself kind of inflicted this um, misunderstanding that came across from your end where you perhaps thought something else, but the meaning was something else, okay? Um, and now you're fixated on that. But I also see that there's this worry as well. That if somebody is pregnant, there's this worry coming in like um, either somebody already has kids. Okay, you already have kids with somebody else. And then this new pregnancy came in. You're like, this is not the right time to have a baby. Um, and this person is kind of like, I will be there for you. I will help you. I will provide. I will give you the money. And you're like, well, you know what? I, I don't really trust you. Okay. Because um, it seems to me that going from this side is like been on and off, okay? And somebody does want a reconciliation. But somebody here is kind of like, it's already over. Things are over, you know? Um, and, and they kind of manifested that energy themselves, okay, Gemini? Whether this is you or your person. I really do feel that this is the father of the child or the children, okay? Now, for those who don't have kids, okay... It's a very immature energy that I'm picking up from here, whether this is you or you're the person. Um, but I feel like there is going to be a completion eventually, okay? There will be that growth coming in, okay? But there is a stable offer coming in. Again, it's that misunderstanding. You guys are not meeting halfway in the situation. I'm going to pull out two more cards for you guys, see what's going on. Whoa, okay. Guys, could I have two more cards for Gemini? So we have the Page of Swords and we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, there's like um, a choices here that needs to be made. And again, it's about meeting halfway, but somebody's kind of like blocked themselves from even trying to understand the situation for what it is. And there's that Page of Swords energy again. So Gemini, I really feel like this could be your energy here with the Page of Swords. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So somebody's expecting an apology, but somebody's not going to apologize, apparently. Let's see what's going on. Queen of Pentacles. So the mother of child could be expecting an apology. A soulmate. Again, soulmate. Ten of Cups. They just want an apology for being left out in the cold, especially in regards to this this connection. All right, let's clarify the two of swords. Maybe somebody's too stubborn to apologize, and it's most likely to be the Aries if that's the case, because the Empress really stubborn. But we also have the Empress too. This is a, a good connection. You know what I mean? You guys are meant to be together. Just things are happening that are not really working well. There it is again. Okay, ten of swords, the end of a long road into deciding about this connection whether to have a reunion or not uh four of wands marriage stability commitment with the emperor okay this is good the sun good ten of wands burden coming to an end though with the ace of cups okay so this is good this is good all right so overall it can work out okay and i think this is more of an advice card okay that you know things can work out if you end this conflicted energy okay and this misunderstanding between you both and come together to form a solid stable relationship okay because the emperor definitely wants to have this okay i mean they can see this future rolling out okay especially with this pregnancy or baby or regardless of whether that is the case they know it's going to be stressful they know it's going to be hard okay and yes you know there's going to be tension but they're here to offer you that love okay <clears throat> they want you to fill your their, your emotions up in their cup okay <laughs> to release that stress that tension okay so they actually are here for you because they want to be with you 
all right so i think things are going to work out at the end all right if you both can just meet halfway all right so there is powerful changes coming so that could just be the pregnancy as well okay um where powerful changes are coming and especially in home life things of course are going to change like pregnancy is like a big thing you can't just expect like you know things to be the same anymore but you need to work through your fears okay um together with this person because yes gemini you might just be scared that you know having a baby is a big thing and of course it is you know your life is going to change but when you see that baby in your arms or you see your children that is going to turn things into a completely different perspective all your worries your fears are just going to vanish when you see the f your baby for the first time okay so guys, um, it won't resonate with everyone, like I said, but don't forget to smash that like, okay? Don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, guys, don't forget to stay home, stay safe with me on YouTube for mindfulness, meditation, and of course, tarot and lots more coming up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.